Well, the third optional protocol um, provides a mechanism whereby children can make complaints to the UN Committee on the Rights of the Child. It's been open since February, and the Australian Human Rights Commission has actively supported and advocated for Australia ratifying that uh, protocol. Basically, it provides a mechanism that doesn't exist for children um, around the world and children in Australia, and it enhances their capacity to have their voice heard, and in particular about um, breaches of their rights under the Convention. Well, early um, childhood engagement in preschool is pretty critical for healthy development of children and giving them a head start in their school life and in life generally. So we really need to unpack the reasons why there's disengagement from Indigenous communities. And really, services need to be accessible, um, affordable, and culturally safe and appropriate. And we also need to involve Indigenous communities in their design and their operation if we are going to encourage them to use them. Well, I've been lucky enough to talk to a lot of children around the country already and, of course, the children's advocates as well. Some of the things children are telling me are that, well, one, they want to have a greater say in decisions that affect their lives. And so I'll be looking to find ways to uh, more systematically hear the voices of children and think about their interests and uh, their views um, as we design policies, programs and services. They're also saying, interestingly, that they're concerned about the level of violence and aggression in the world and the lack of respect for one another in society. And I think that's something that we can all think about seriously. Some of the other things that they're raising are cost of living and how that um, impacts on their ability to access things like extracurricular activities like excursions and sport, sporting clubs. Well, I think that's a very big question. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons I'm talking to children about what's important to them and what I can focus on. However, I would say one of the things that we're really a long way behind is ensuring we have a, a comprehensive commitment to early intervention and prevention and services to support families uh, early uh, in their journeys. I think we've got quite strong um, child protection systems, but I'd really like to see some of the resources released from those tertiary hard-end services into a more systematic way of supporting families.